Hi, I'm Janet and I'm going to read from the book Friendship and Character by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Friendship. We have a great deal more kindness than is ever spoken. Barring all the selfish that chills like east winds the world, the whole human family is bathed with an element of love like a fine ether. How many persons we meet in houses whom we scarcely speak to, whom yet we honor and who honor us. How many we see in the street or sit with in church, whom though silently we warmly rejoice to be with. Read the language of these wandering eye beams. The heart knoweth. The effect of the indulgence of this human affection is a certain cordial exhilaration. In poetry and in common speech, the emotions of benevolence and complacency which are felt toward others are likened to the material's effect of fire, so swift, or much more swift, more active, more cheering, are these fine inward irradiations. From the highest degree of passionate love to the lowest degree of goodwill, they make the sweetness of life. <laughs> our intellectual and active powers increase with our affection. The scholar sits down to write, and all his years of meditation do not furnish him with one good thought or happy expression, but it is necessary to write a letter to a friend, and forthwith troops of gentle thoughts invest themselves on every hand, with chosen words. See in any house where virtue and self-respect abide the palpitation which the approach of a stranger causes. A commended stranger is expected and announced, and an uneasy, uneasiness between pleasure and pain invades all the hearts of a household. His arrival almost brings fear to the good hearts that would welcome him. The house is dusted. All things fly into their places. The old coat is exchanged for the new, and they must get up a dinner if they can. Of a commanded stranger, only the good report is told by others. Only the good and new is heard by us. imagined and invested him we ask how we should stand related in conversation and action with such a man and are, and are uneasy with fear the same idea exalts conversation with him we talk better than we are wont we have the nimblest fancy a richer memory and our dumb devil has taken leave for the time. <sighs> for long hours we can continue a series of sincere, graceful, rich communications drawn from the oldest, secretest experience, so that they who sit by of our own kinsfolk and acquaintance shall feel a lively surprise at our unusual powers. <sighs> but... As soon as a stranger begins to intrude his partialities, his definitions, his defects into the conversation, it is all over. He has heard the first, the last, and best he will ever hear from us. He is no stranger now. Vulgarity, ignorance, 
misapprehension our old acquaintances. Now when he comes, he may get the order, the dress, and the dinner, but the throbbing of the heart and the communications of the soul no more. Pleasant are the jets of affection which relume a young world for me again. Delicious is a just and firm encounter of two in a thought, in a feeling. How beautiful on their approach to this beating heart, the steps and forms of the gifted and the true. The moment we indulge our affections, the earth is met metamorph There is no winter and no night. All tragedies, all ennuis vanish, all duties even. Nothing fills the preceding eternity but the forms all radiant of beloved persons. Let the soul be assured that somewhere in the universe it shall rejoin its friend. And it would... <sighs> be content and cheerful alone for a thousand years. I am Janet and I read Friendship by Emerson. Oh my God, that last one wasn't killing me, man. That was hot. I needed that. Thank you very much. You want to do a, do a double take on this? Don't you think I need to do it better? 